Today, our heating bills are going up. The winter rates for Eversource and National Grid take effect today. And the increases are big. As the temperature goes down, we'll be turning up the heat to compensate. On average, National Grid predicts we'll pay 64% more. Eversource, as much as 30% more. And those increases have people looking for alternatives. WBZ's Paul Burton is live for us in Watertown tonight. And Paul, there are other options out there. There are other options out there. And David, everything from wood burning to pellet stoves are becoming the hot ticket item this winter. Folks are deeply concerned about how they're going to heat their homes at a reasonable cost. And certain businesses are being inundated with requests. At Central Mass Tree in Winchenden, cutting machines, loaders, and dump trucks are at full throttle, feverishly trying to keep up with the high demand for firewood. It's pretty overwhelming. It's probably, I'd say the flow is three or four times more than, um, than we've seen it in the past. As energy costs skyrocket throughout the state, homeowners are watching their wallets. That's why owner Randy Ramo says his machines are going seven days a week. There's no chance of keeping up with what, what we're up against now. I mean, we're doing the best we can to keep the costs down for the consumers. He offers his conventional barkless wood at a reasonable price because he knows homeowners will be struggling this winter. There's a lot of guys doing some price gouging. We don't do that. We're, we're really focused on trying to help the people out in getting them the wood. You know, with the electricity, the propane, the, the, the heating oil, it's all, uh, it's all gone up so, so much. The demand is high. People are nervous. They're coming in. They don't know how they're going to afford to heat with oil or if they have electric heat. And with wood comes fireplaces. The stove place in Shrewsbury says they're doing their best to keep up with customers coming to buy wood burning and pellet stoves. Weekends are crazy. Pre come in, prepare to wait. It's, you know, people are waiting 30 minutes, 40 minutes to be helped. The price of these products installed can run anywhere from five to $7,000, which Jody Carbono knows can be a sticker shock for some customers. But it's a return on investment. Very few things you buy for your home end up paying you back. So, the, but the being price of fuel is now, it's a two year return on investment. Not much else does that that you purchase for your home. So they make sense. So they make sense. And both owners say their customers will do whatever they can to keep their fires burning high, but their energy bills low. Live in Watertown, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Definitely the goal, Paul, thanks. Even if you have no other option but to stick with your gas or electric heat, there are still ways you can save. The Energy Department recommends opening your shades and curtains during the day to let in natural light. That should provide some warmth. You can also lower your thermostat at night to save some money, cover drafty windows, and conserve hot water. And if you can't afford your heating bill, you may qualify for the state's home energy assistance program. Qualification is based on several factors, including your income and the size of your household. For more information on how to apply, go to our website, cbsboston.com.